Okay, this is part two of the IV Swinger 2 demo, and I'm going to start by just showing you how you can modify the appearance of the graphs. So we'll again open the results wizard here, open up the date group, select one of the runs, and then the first thing you can do is you can change the title from this generic title, which just says the time and date. So you change that to say like two thirds shade case. See that changes up here, and then it also adds that label over here so you can keep track of it. The next thing we're going to do is show you what's under the preferences dialog. So it has three tabs. We're going to actually focus just on this first one, which is the plotting tab. And you can play around with this as much as you want. I'm only going to show the effects of changing the font scale, line scale, and point scale. So this is a slider. You can also type in that box, but I'll just slide this over here to maybe 1.25. And you can see the fonts all got bigger, both the axis fonts and the label fonts. And line scale, I'll just make the line fatter. The point scale is the scale of the actual measured points. So if you wanted those bigger, slide this up here and get big circles. What's perhaps more likely is you actually want to get them out of the picture altogether. And you can set that to zero and then you just get the, the line itself. So I'm just going to cancel. So one thing you can do is just restore defaults that gets you back to normal. Or I could have just canceled that too. But so we'll leave this the way it was. Then the next thing we're going to do is show you how to do a batch update if you want to make a common change for multiple runs. So I'll shift click to select like these three runs here. And then I'm going to check this plot power option here. So we get the power curve on there too. And then I'm going to click on this update button. It goes off and does that. It says it's complete. And now we can look at those individually and see that yes, they all have the power curve, but if we look at the next one, it doesn't. I also want to mention that the batch update can be done with any of the preferences. So <laughs> if you select the multiple runs, you can then open the preferences dialog, change whatever you want, such as the line width, and then you can click the update and it will update them all to those preferences. So what I'm going to show you now though is how to combine multiple runs onto a single graph. So we'll click this and I'm going to use the control click to select these three runs. I'll click the overlay button. Now you'll notice that it sort of sprouted this other uh, area over here, this overlay runs list. And um, one thing you can do is you can double click there. I'm going to change the title. No shade. And one third shade. Two thirds shade. Now you can see those <laughs> have more descriptive names. You can also change the title of the plot, but you've already seen that. The other thing is you can change some options about how the labels work. If you check that, you get labels for all of the ISC points. Check this, you'll get labels for all of the maximum power points. And similarly for all the VOC points. The one other thing here is the maximum power points. Sometimes the label gets so long it goes off the edge. So if you're only interested in the watts, you just simplify those labels. The other thing, um, that you can do here is sometimes the order that they come up in isn't the order that you want them on the graph. So you can actually just drag to reorder them. Um, you can also click on this heading here and that will order them chronologically. You click again, it will order them in the reverse chronological order. So we're actually back to where we started now. So the other thing is while this is open, you can click on the preferences. And the first thing we'll do is make thicker lines. And then we'll do, I showed you can do, so 
actually make all the measured points actually go away maybe something you'd want. So we're going to click OK on that. And then until you click this finished button, the overlay is not saved. So we'll do that. And now under this overlays group up here, we have our overlay. There's an older one I did. So the one thing to know about uh, overlays though is that once they're created, there is no modifying them in terms of tweaking the <coughs> appearance. All that's saved is the graph. So if you need to make any changes, you'll just have to start over and do the whole thing again. So that's, well, the last thing we can do is view the PDF for that just like we could for the individual runs. And then of course you can print it out from there or move it to somewhere else or whatever you want to do. So that's all. That's uh, just an introduction. There are other things you can do, but hopefully this is enough that if you are going to be using this tool, you have the basic, you know your basic way around and can figure everything out. There is um, there are tool tips where if you're hover over buttons, it brings up little hints, help. There are there's a help menu here, which is very high level help, and then there are sub help buttons scattered around in like the preferences where if you click that, it will bring up a list of help. So that's all. Hope you enjoyed it.